Hey, how y'all doing? Well, it's Tuesday, and I promise you this video will not end early. I went and borrowed the GoPro again, so I don't have to worry about it shutting off right in the middle of my damn rant here. And, uh, but yeah, it's Tuesday. You done made it through Manic Monday and all that crap, and, uh, hell, now we, all we have to do is just cruise right on to the next weekend. I swear they come up every few days, I'm telling you. And, uh, we want you to enjoy every one of them. Anyway, what's going on in the news? Well, shit, last night Donnie came out and he read again. He proved again that our president knows how to read. He can, he can read everything on that teleprompter and he can read it so good. It's like he is a graduate of the Evelyn Woodhead speed reading course. That's our president. He can't do shit unless he's reading it. All of a sudden this morning I'm hearing up there from Republican talking heads that, well, now that was the way the president should sound and everything. Yeah, you're right. That's the kind of words he should use, baby. But those aren't his words. He didn't have any input into that speech. He didn't write a single word of that speech. And you could tell it. You can just sit up there and he, if he's not reading something, he's vomiting shit out of his mouth. That's how you can tell if it's Donnie's words or somebody else's words. If they're somebody else's words, they actually make sense, whole sentences, complete paragraphs, and a meaning in there. If you put Donnie out by himself, vomit of shit comes out of his mouth. That's what happens every time he gets in front of a tele... I mean, gets in front of a crowd without a teleprompter. He came out with his very ambiguous plan. What's he going to do? Don't know. Well, what are we going to do? Don't know. He'll let you know? Maybe. I don't know what he's got planned up. We're going to send more troops. That's what he's going to do. He's going to do what Obama did. Lord had knows only how long this is shit's going to go on, but that's what's going to happen after his belly aching and whining the whole time when he wasn't the president. When Obama was in there and no Donnie the dick mouth, he just bad mouth him all over the place but now Donnie comes out and says well you know when you're sitting behind the desk of the president things are different yeah when it's your ass behind that desk Donnie it's different for all of us out here believe us you've made that perfectly clear you're a dick anyway Donnie he halts a study on health effects and uh, up in the Appalachian where they do coal top, uh, mountain top mining for coal. Now, a while back ago, all the residents down there in Appalachia who were getting lung cancer and heart disease and shit, well, they raised up a big old fuss. Hey, we're getting unhealthy here. We think it's that coal mining shit. Well, we want to study. Okay. So the government gave them $1 million in funding for a study on the health effects of mining up in that area where they're doing the coal top, the mountain top mining shit. It throws a lot of crap up in the air and people get it in their lungs. Anyway, Donnie stopped it. You know why? Responsible use of taxpayer money. That's what they said. They cut a $1 million funding to a study going on about the health care in Appalachia because they want to be responsible with your tax dollars. The hell with the vacations and the golf carts and all that other bullshit that we're paying out the ass for. Yeah, let's don't think about that. Let's stop this health study that might help people in Appalachia not get lung cancer or, or not get heart disease. But the hell with them people. Donnie's golf carts are much more important than your silly old health. You people in Kentucky and all that, West Virginia, all the Pennsylvania, don't. No. Don't worry about your health care shit. You get a little lung cancer. Don't worry about it. You can get over it. Yeah, that study was started because people complained. Well, you better start speaking up again or because he don't give a shit about you. Coal ain't going to make it back. It never is. It's on the downslide. It's on the downslide. It always has been and always will be until it's gone. But no, we get to this big debate because we're going to save a few jobs. I feel for you, buddy. I wish I had a job down here too, but I don't. But I make it through and get something else to do. But we can't keep doing coal because it ain't no good for shit. But uh, to hell with your health care because Donnie doesn't think that's important. Anyway, Donnie's in a roll, baby. He also dismissed the Climate Change Advisory Panel. Get out of here. 
We don't need you anymore. Climate change, it goes along with that same study about the health. He doesn't give a shit what happens to this country, this world, your health, anything else. It's about the money. It's about the money, but it's about his money. Because he's already demonstrated, as we just said, that he doesn't give a shit about your money. He'll spend it left and right. Golf carts, you betcha. Trips to Mar Largo, you betcha. Trips to the golf course and Broad Collection Center, you betcha. Trump charge, you betcha. Yeah. Oh, pay for your health study? I don't think so. That's a waste of government money. Yeah, we've got a big waste of government money. His name is Donald Trump. He sits in our house, and he's the biggest waste of money that this country has ever seen. He's a, nothing but a thief. He's using this country as an ATM, and he's just taking it for all he's got, baby. Anyway, talking about Afghanistan, before I forget, i seen a little meme on uh, Facebook there where it said uh, Eric Trump was 33 years old. That's enlistment age, Eric. Hey, Donnie. How about you tell your little dick son to go join the military to show the courage and the patriotism that you talk about, Donnie? How about that shit? Ain't gonna happen. Why? Because that boy's rich. He ain't got to He's just like Donnie. Oh, I got a hurt foot. I can't go. I got a hurt foot. Yeah, he's got money. The same way as his daddy was a draft-dodging coward then, Eric will be a, a coward now. Not one of them Trumps are going to step up and do the damn right thing. We had high hopes for Ivanka. Oh, Ivanka's gonna, Ivanka's gonna go in there and, and rescue Daddy. No, she didn't. She let Daddy step all over your faith. You know, the Jewish faith that you accepted, Ivanka. Your husband who is Jewish, he let you let your Daddy stomp all over that religion with his support of neo-Nazis. Yeah, don't talk to me about Ivanka Trump has got morals or anything like that. She's just like her Daddy. She just puts on a good face for the public. She wants to be the nice one in the in the in the scenario. No, if you didn't come out and say your daddy should have stud shut his mouth, his disgusting crap about his neo-Nazi friends, well then you're just condoning it. So I just have to assume that. Donnie's going to his clan rally down in Arizona tonight. Hey, Arizona! Arizona, resist as big as you can, baby. Everybody in Arizona should be out there hollering as loud as they can to drown out the stupid people that he's gonna have to pay to go in there and hold signs. I don't know if it's true or not, but I seen a little thing on, on Facebook where uh, there was an advertising for uh, out in uh, Phoenix for people of color and, 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 and ethnicity to come hold signs supporting Trump at his rally. I don't know if it's true, but it's right up their speed. That's what they do. They just like Alex Jones bullshit. He gets his own people to come throw coffee in his face and then rant and rave about the, the lunatic liberals and all that shit. They're just a bunch of fakes. They want the money, people. They don't give a shit. And that was highly demonstrated by Louise Linton. Who's she? Well, that's Steve Mnuchin's wife. You know, the Secretary of the Treasury. That guy. You know, the one that, oh, man. He, his face could be a living poster for how do you get a beautiful woman to marry you when you're ugly. Well, the answer to that is lots of money, baby. And it's all about the money with this people. She just... Found it out last night, showing off her gap, fabulous gowns and shit and her wealth when she got off an airplane in Kentucky to go see old Mitch McConnell. They went to go see old Mitch. Yep, the rich going to see the rich to do what? Talk about tax reform. Whose tax reform? Yours? No! Their tax reform. How can they get more money out of the system? How can they come up with different sentences and crap? that they can hide in a tax code that allows them another tax break. Yeah, well she got on to a little a lady named Jeannie Miller out in Oregon, a mother of three, tweeted out something about, well, you know, nice that we could give you a ride because she just got off a government airplane. But they're on business, you know. Wink, wink, we're going to see Mitch McConnell about, about taxes. Yeah, in my fancy up gown and my very expensive purse and my shoes and all the other shit that she bragged about having and then belittled this woman because this Louise Linton, the wealthy scum that want more money, the 1% of this nation berates her saying, that, oh, that Louise Linton pays more in Texas than she does. Yeah, I'm sure you do. What you are forced to pay. How about talk about what you get around? How about you and your husband put your taxes out there and explain to me how all of these offshore accounts and all that shit end up in y'all's name? That's what happens. You're so filthy rich, you don't 
You're not even in connection with any people out here anymore. It's all about your money and how you flaunt it. You think your Republican senator or congressman's working for your ass? Bullshit. You look around your community for the richest person around in your city? That's who he's working for. The money. He's not working for the constituents. They come up with all sorts of bullshit like they do with their health care talk and all that crap. And it's a bunch of bullshit to throw every American under the bus while they just get more money. Because it's about the money. Anyway, what's going on? What else is going on? Well, Breitbart doesn't like Al, uh, Donnie's uh, discussion on uh, Afghanistan there because it came out and uh, disagreed with it, evidently. I don't know what a Bannon's idea is. He's going to attack Bush so he can get some of the moderates, I guess, but still stay on the alt-right clan neo-Nazi bullshit that Breitbart is known for. You remember that. Breitbart is known for the alt-right. The alt-right is another name for neo-Nazi bullshit, white supremacist crap. Lies and shit that they can feed their little minions to make them feel better. That's what Breitbart is. It's a whole lot like Fox News. You know, bullshit mountain. The people that come out and lie their shit off every day to ignorant people so they'll believe them. But, uh, oh, you know, they do it in such a patriotic way while quoting God or some other nasty shit that to try to convince people that they are on the side of God and good and all that other shit. Bullshit. They're after the same money. That's why I go after them preachers who still stay with Trump. Yeah, you're not a preacher for Jesus or God. You're just a, a money collector in the big con game. And uh, that's what that is. Anyway, that's about what I got. I do want to point out the University of Texas removed Robert E. Lee and on some other statues around the campus of uh, the University of Texas. And they didn't make a big thing about it. They just got rid of them, which is what they ought to do. Just get rid of the damn things. Go put them in a museum and let the white supremacists and neo-Nazis go over there and look at their heroes. And uh, they can do that in private. They don't have to stick them out in their park. So get rid of the damn things. They were put up for racist reasons, and they're, they're remaining for racist reasons. So anybody out there protesting their little statue of their southern gomer pile or whatever the hell it is, get a life grow up and come into the 21st century. The rest of us are up here waiting on your ass. Anyway, what? that's it. That's all I got, I guess. Anyway, I want to give a shout out to uh, Terry. Terry's a blue dot in Alabama. And Terry wrote me a little letter here. She's surrounded, baby. And uh, she let me know in no uncertain terms that um, she lives with an asshole and uh, her whole family and everybody else around there are Trump supporters and all that. Well, Terry, I, I know a lot about how you feel. Uh, my little blue dot down here is just my family. Uh, my wife, my kids, and uh, that's it. We're, we're distant from any, anybody else down here in Texas. So uh, I, I hope you're the best. She sent us some more stickers. Uh, Stop bigotry. Yeah, you can do that tonight in Alabama. I mean, over in uh, Arizona tonight. And uh, I like this one too here. It says, still my president. He is still my president. The one that carried this country for eight years with pride and dignity. And now we have a scum sucking liar in there. And uh, she also reminds us to resist. Resist. And uh, so those are going to go up on my board over there. And uh, Terry, I appreciate that. And I also got a letter from uh, Mary Ann McLaughlin in uh, Royal Oak, Michigan, and uh, thank you, dear. I enjoy getting your letters. I get one from you every once in a while. I enjoy reading them, and I'm still threatening, as soon as they put a few more hours in this day, to sit down and return your correspondence, because I really want to. So look for a letter from me, Mary Ann. I'm going to write one to you. Other than that, that's all I got, people. Remember where we're at, where we're going. We still have a long way to go. He's not out yet. Mueller, come on, baby. We know all this bullshit with the with his speeches and all that crap is still a diversion from finding out that he's nothing but a money launderer for the Russians. That's what we're going to end up finding, I believe. And, and it's all going to come down to exactly what he treasures the most. The money will be the one thing that's going to bring him down. So uh, come on, Mueller, baby. You got a whole country out here waiting on you. Blue dots around the world, around the country. Stay active. Stay on the line. Don't stay in the bunker. Like, share, and subscribe. John Bertabo of Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. Uh, John Bertabo Speaks. 
on Facebook, uh, on my Twitter, uh, a blue dot in Tex uh, at Blue Dot in Texas, and uh, stick your head out the window, you'll hear me hollering. Let's get rid of him. And in the meantime, y'all have a good day, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.